Okay, D. so I'm going to make a screen recording of um, the different photo gallery options I've been testing um, and let you see them so that you can kind of see maybe if one of them would work for you, okay? So the first one that I have here, this is my website. Um, this is set to private. All of these posts are, um, well, these posts I'm going to show you today. If you go on my website, you won't see many of them because I've got them published to private. So you're kind of getting a peek behind the veil here. But this first one I'm really excited about, and I just, right before I started this, I just um, published it to see it, and I actually completely love it. Um, these are pictures that I've uploaded to Flickr. I did it yesterday. I hadn't... Um, I didn't write the captions on them so they don't have the captions like the rest of the pictures do but I want to show you how it works and what's kind of cool about it and um, so I'm gonna buzz over here check out my tabs right um, I'm gonna go over here to common or uh, to my common core training and implementation educational school district 112 and um, this set that I made on Flickr um, Okay, so I made the set. Here I am making the set. The set is uploaded, and if anybody goes to Flickr and clicks on the set, they'll see that. They can go to each picture, pull it up. They could forward it. And if I had titled them here, if I um, completed my work there, then they'd be titled what I want them to be, and they would have a full description here. I wrote really long captions for this project, thinking that this photo um, gallery really is a separate... Um, element by itself that that stands alone so I would have much more written here but for now I'm just going to show you how this is so we clicked into one picture that's what one picture looks like if somebody clicks on it we're gonna go back here here's the whole um, the whole set and now I want to share it so I'm gonna go to this share button Um, I don't want to grab the link because I don't want there to just be a link I want to um, and it's not showing up because I've already done it. I want to share it to WordPress and there's a WordPress option here. So when I just did this, I clicked the WordPress option. I was given the choice of typing in my username and my password to my WordPress blog. I did that um, and then it said publish to page and I said yes and then I had no idea what happened. So I was like, eh, did that just post to my website? So I went back to my website and sure enough, here it was. This is what it looks like when it comes straight from Flickr. So that's how you embed Flickr and I think it looks fantastic. The borders are clean um, and if you, you know, the reader can have control over what they want to look at or don't want to look at. Hey, this one looks, why did she put a bag, a, a picture of a box of buckets there? So they can go here and, and um, this one is about, the, the caption I actually have in the final picture is something about how the kids keep their, you know, their learning logs here to capture the, the process of the instruction and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, in my real picture, I've blacked out this kid's last name. So this really needs, I really do need to take this down. But um, so it takes you into Flickr. It pulls up pretty quickly. You get to see the captions there. Love it. And as I was um, posting it to Flickr, I had the option to put the name in, which I did, you know, title of the slideshow. And then I just wrote a little blurb here. Marilyn, which I spelled wrong. Melville Irvin explains another component of Common Core instruction, blah, blah, blah. So it gives the, the reader enough to know, yeah, this is worth looking at, or I really don't want to look at that, but okay, yeah, I can handle two sentences. That kind of a thing. So this is Flickr, okay? Now we're going to go down, see edit, so we're at a new post here. We're going to go down to the next post. Um, this is a plugin that I tried called WordPress Photo Album Plus, and this is the slideshow setting. So this is what a, a slideshow looks like. Now in the slideshow option, you've got slower, stop, and faster, okay? I want it to go faster, so I make it go faster. I click twice, so that's what the word faster means. Boom, it's zooming through those. Oh, wow, stop. I like that picture. Stop. Now I can read the caption. Look at this really long caption. It's very amazing. And oh, gosh, this author totally knows what she's doing. I think she has credibility. Oh, and this is photo two of ten. I'm going to leave a comment. Okay, all of that's built in here. 
What makes me feel nervous about this is a couple of different things. One, I don't like motion on a page. It makes me feel nauseous. Two, I'm not sure what this delete and edit button do, but I don't want anybody else deleting or editing my stuff. So I don't know what this does. It makes me feel a little sketchy. And um, the other thing I don't like about this is because of the motion here, it throws the rest of the page off. Let me tell you what I mean. I'm going to start it and I'm going to put it on slower a little bit, but look at what happens. I am going to start it. Am I going to start it? Are you going to play? What if I push go again? Start slideshow. Okay. So here it's going again. Look at how based on the length of my topic or of my caption there, are you going to play? Oh, maybe I've stopped it. That's not a bad thing. But then how do you move it back and forth? Okay, see, so that's a problem. What happens if I click down here? Nothing. So I seem to have stopped it. I don't know. What happens if I refresh my whole page up here? Is it going to start moving again? There we go. So the user would have to refresh that. They'd have to go through that same, hey, what the heck just happened? Issue that I did. Not liking that. And then look again. What I was trying to get to is based on the size of the picture. That's the only one that's odd in this set. And the length of this, it's making the whole page shift up or down. Now, not such a bad thing when you're just paying attention to this completely compelling um, slideshow, but what happens to the topics below? Okay, now I'm reading this area and oh gosh, that's interesting, but wait a minute, it's moving around on me. I don't like that at all. So you lose the control of how your content below that element looks. So I'm not loving the um, I like the look of it. I like that functionality. I like, oh, picture neat. Oh, caption neat. I have control over the speed. I kind of like that. I can leave a comment. I know how many more pictures I have to look at. I like those parts of it, but I don't like this dynamic moving thing I'm having happen. In fact, um, okay, so let's go here. I'm reading this. Oh, it's moving up. Oh, it's moving down. Oh, it's moving up. Oh, see, bugging me. So I'm going to go back here and stop this so that as we go through the rest of them, that's not going to bug us. Um, may I do a slight digression here? Check out this Edutopia um, Pinterest board I found. They've got Common Core Lessons, and I figured out how to do the um, an embed on a Pinterest board like that. So that's another option for our social media widget. Um, yay. If you want to look into that more, let me know. I'll tell you how or send you the link or something. Okay, so so we've got Flickr. We have um, WordPress Photo Album Plus set on Slideshow. Now we're going to go to that same plugin, brilliant article about layman's terms, including a picture of the Munsters. Who can't love this blog? Okay, so this is WordPress Photo Album Plus on the album setting. Okay, same pictures. Same compelling captions underneath the pictures. A little bit hard to see, pretty small here on the blog. This is about a real size of what it would look like. Um, but if I click on it, it takes a little bit of time. But then it does pull, oh, let's see. It does pull up that picture, okay? Now it could start in a slideshow, but I don't have to. It's static. You get the bigger um, caption there. And eh, we're back to that. Not Oh, what's this? Come on, work. What happens if I hit down here? Anything? Nothing? <gasps> okay, that's a little bit better. That puts it back in my control. I like that a little bit better. But see, that's album. So um, now is that going to lock me out again? Last time it locked me out. Yeah, it's going to lock me out. So when I click on one of those photos, that's great. I want to go back to the main article. So I push back and I push back and it's not going back and that bugs me. So I'm going to go back to my main page here. So these are not super duper user friendly. Oh, hello, back, back scene. How are you? Visit site. And okay, so here we are again main page, Flickr, slideshow that I'm not completely convinced I love, but I do like the layout of it. Don't like that dynamic motion. Brilliant article. We got to shut that thing down so it quits vibrating. Gosh, that really bugs me. Slideshow is out for Kaylee. Okay, so this, I like it, but you saw what happened when we 
hooked on one of the pictures. It kind of locked us out of the um, being able to get back to this article. And we're going to have multiple scenes, right? We're going to have a video up here and some text and then this photo gallery and then a SoundCloud thing. So when we lay it out, we want a nice, um, I want a nice self-contained visual unit. So visual element. So that's kind of what I'm looking for but I'm not sure about the usability. Now here's one that I absolutely love, but it has a huge liability on it. Um, I did a lot of research, a lot of research. I did a bit of research on different WordPress plugins that work well with photo galleries. And this one got rave reviews. I love the clean, um, the clean, oh, what is it? the clarity, the cleanness. It just looks clean and crisp to me. Um, I purposely did all of my photos full size so that they would be, um, you know, uniform and I love the way that they lay out. This picture was an exception. Um, the side of it was just a bunch of crap and so I lobbed that off and this is what I was left with with the proportions. But eh, it's at the bottom. I, I uh, ordered it so it would be down there. Not such a big deal on the bottom. The real issue with this though is that when I click on these pictures, oh look at that. I get the title, Longview and Kelso Teachers. There's no captioning. That's a big deal. Now I can flick between the pictures. In terms of the viewer, they'd probably love this. There wouldn't be a lot of text to mess it up. But in terms of me turning in the project with captions on it, kind of not so good. Um, I'm not a fan of the title being underneath these pictures. Not really a fan of that. I talked or I uh, checked the forms out for this plugin and uh, for an upgrade, I paid $19.99 for it. For an upgrade, you can get captions but I don't know what they look like and I'm really not interested in um, investing more on, in it right now and particularly as we're this close and need to get our work done. I don't really want to do that much futzing with it. So I think I'm really going to love this um, Envira Gallery is the name of it. I think I'm going to love that plugin, but I'm not going to use it for this, um, this slideshow. This would be more like kid pictures or you know, not caption rich, text rich pictures. Um, I love black and white. I think it looks clean. Um, I think it just is more, I don't know, sophisticated looking and it's simply elegant. I just like black and white photography. So for my photo element, I'm going to do that. Of course, my video is going to be color. So these are a few of my, um, my ways of playing with the photos. And I got to tell you, based on what I've seen here, I'm, I'm probably going to go with, with the Flickr embed. I really like that. Um, if you want me to tell you about the Edutopia thing, let me know, or the um, the Pinterest board embed, rather, let me know, because I really like that. I think it looks so cool. I mean, just look at the color it adds there. Really pretty. So um, that's it, Deep. That's how I've been kind of playing with the photo gallery and some solutions I have and what they look like when they're actually on the page. And Jeff, if you don't want me to publish it privately, that's okay, because you don't have access to it and can't see it, and I still get to play with it. So na 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 na. All right. Do you have a great night? Talk to you later. Hope this helped you.